A lot of ladies ask me how to get the guy they really want. What do they need to do? What steps do they need to take? Well, like I tell you all the time, it's about options. It's about putting yourself in a position where you can make choices, where you have a group of people that you can choose from in order to find somebody that's perfect for you in order to find somebody that you really want to be with that's really going to make you happy. If you don't have options, eventually you're just going to take whatever's in front of you and not get what you really want. So this video is about the five steps that you need to take to get those options so that you can get the person that you really want and capitalize on your situation. Step one, evaluate your options. And when I say options, I don't mean that these have to be other people who want to be in a relationship with you. They don't have to be other people who are currently in a relationship with you. They don't have to be people that you're in a friends with benefits situation or anything where you're even consistently interacting with each other. This could just be somebody who likes your pictures on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. This could be somebody that you talk to at the office. This could be somebody that you have lunch with from time to time. The reality of the situation is everybody is serving a purpose. So these people are creating competition for whoever comes along, even if they're not necessarily interested in being in a relationship with you. For instance, if somebody's liking your pictures on Facebook, they're showing other people that people like your pictures. If somebody's commenting, they're showing other people that someone has interest in you and somebody would like to deal with you in some way or shape or form. That's actually helping your situation. So evaluate that. Do you have somebody that you kind of eat with? Do you have somebody that you talk to? Do you have somebody that you hang out with if you were to go to like uh, a club or you were to go to an amusement park or something like that? Evaluate these people and get yourself a checklist. These are options that you have for different situations. No, it may not be the whole relationship. No, it may not be everything that you would like to have, but these are options for particular situations. And these are people that you can reach out to so that you do have somewhere else to go. This is the situation that's good for you if you get with somebody and the relationship's kind of a little bit fuzzy, where it's not a situation where they're totally committed to it, instead of just kind of begging them for certain things like, oh man, I just want to go out. You may not have to go out with them. You could go out with one of your other options, somebody that you could talk to and say, oh, well, I know this person will go to the movies, or I know this person will go to dinner, or I know this person is somebody I can call and talk to for a couple hours if I need to, and you know I don't have to unload on this other person who's not showing interest at the time. When you do that, it's gonna help you so you don't look so needy, you don't look so desperate because you're exercising your other options and you know who to go to for whatever thing you need at that time. Step two, get healthy. Now when I say get healthy, I'm not necessarily talking about go do some push-ups. I'm not necessarily talking about go to the gym. I'm not talking about eating right. All of those things are great and they are important to your overall health. But what I'm talking about is make your life healthy. Make sure your life is nurturing you instead of taking. Are your friends helping you? Are they borrowing your car and not putting gas in it? Or are they giving you a ride? Are they loaning you money or are they borrowing money? Are they telling you good things about yourself or are they criticizing you? Are they being cool and taking you places with them and doing things that are fun? Or are they constantly just doing stuff without you and leaving you behind, you know, hanging out with other friends and only coming to hang out with you whenever they have bad situations and they want to dump their problems on somebody? Are your relationships with your friends, family members, um, platonic relationships, are those healthy? Is your job healthy? Are you making the type of money that you want to make? Are you in a situation where you're working good hours? Or are you constantly being drained by your job and stressed out so much that you really can't focus on anything else other than the crap you're going through? If that's the case, you're going to need to unload some of these things and add things that nurture you. If you're not healthy, then you're going to be attracting people who like folks who are not healthy. If you're not living, you're dying. And as I always say, you know, vultures are attracted to rotting flesh. So if you're constantly getting these people who are scavengers, people who are just trying to take something and leave the rest behind, a lot of times that may be a situation where your lifestyle just isn't healthy enough to attract healthy people and attract people who want to uplift and help you build. It's going to be more people who just want to tear down or pick clean whatever's left of you. Step three, stop taking it personally. You may have been doing this your entire life. Anytime somebody doesn't give you what you want, you try to make them into the villain. And of course, other people are going to follow you in this because that's what they do. 
But the reality of the situation is people are doing what they feel is best for them. That doesn't mean they're a narcissist. That doesn't mean they're a fuck boy. That doesn't mean they're whatever else you try to classify them as to make you feel better about the fact that you didn't get what you wanted from the situation. I know the easy thing to do is to try to psychoanalyze other people or to try to make someone else into a villain whenever you're not getting what you want from the situation. But the thing is, they're doing what they feel is best for them a lot of times. And sometimes being with you isn't what they wanted. That's not their fault. That's not your fault necessarily, but it's something that you can build on if you start understanding that a lot of times things really aren't personal. And if you start understanding that, you start figuring out how to build value so that you can get what you want from somebody because that's the thing that's most beneficial to them. If it's not beneficial for somebody to be in a relationship with you, if it's not beneficial for somebody to be in an exclusive relationship with you, then they're probably not going to do it. That's not because they're a fuckboy or a narcissist or whatever the heck else you want to try to say. It's because it's not beneficial to that person and that's why they're not doing it. So you have to start figuring out how to build that value and what, like I've talked about before, having the options, understanding the situation, that's going to do that for you. But you can't do that until you understand the fact that it's not personal. People are really just trying to get what they want out of life and make their situation better. If you keep trying to make somebody else out to be the villain, you never fix yourself. You never embrace some of the changes that you can make to make your situation better. Step four, get out. You gotta get out of the house. You can't be sitting in the crib all day long pouting about the fact that you can't find anybody. You gotta get out of the house. You gotta have a good attitude when you get out of the house. You got to put your best foot forward when you get out of the house. You can't sit there moping and whenever you're out, you're really in. You know what I mean? You might be out with some of your friends, but you're thinking about somebody who left you two years ago, sitting around thinking about your job and how that's not working out, sitting around thinking about bills you got to pay. If you're out, be out physically, mentally, and emotionally. Be exactly where you need to be. Be in that space at that time, trying to have a good time. Enjoy the people who are around you. Don't be out and be on your phone the whole time talking to some dude who has never shown you the right amount of interest. Don't be out and be on your phone hitting your mama back and forth and all that kind of stuff about some silly stuff that you guys got going on. Don't do that. If you're going to go out, be out. All right? Make it about your friends. Make it about what you're doing in that moment at that time. Make it about the people who are there and present in that moment. Because if you don't do that, basically what happens is you just keep going through life losing people. Basically, you have less people to choose from because you're not meeting new people and constantly replenishing the pool. If you do that, then now you but you get down to where you only got one dude you used to talk to back in the day and that's pretty much the only person you're still in contact with because you're not getting new people now of course you got to take his crap because you don't have anything else you don't have any other options so it's either take this dude's crap or be alone get out have a good time that will start attracting more people to you even if those people aren't perfect for you even if they're not every single thing you're looking for they become part of the pool they become people who serve a purpose in your life and because they serve a purpose they make it to where you're not desperate to feel that and if you're not desperate to feel that that means that whoever wants to come in and feel that purpose or feel that need has to compete which means it's better for you step five take what you want step five and this might be the most important step. Take what you want. Stop feeling guilty about getting the things that you want out of life. Stop feeling guilty about what you want. Stop feeling guilty about doing things that make you happy. Stop feeling guilty about trying to make your life better. A lot of people have you thinking that your life is actually about them. They have you thinking that what you want and what you need is supposed to somehow coincide with what they want and what they need. And if it doesn't, you're a bad person. Just like I talked about before, taking things personal and making somebody the villain because they're not doing what you want. Don't let somebody do that to you. Don't become a villain because you're doing what you want to do for your life. If you want to go out and have dinner and have a good time, but you don't necessarily want to be in a relationship with somebody or give them sex or whatever, look. They don't have to take you out. They can stay at the crib if they want to or take someone else out. They're taking you out because they're trying to make an investment. They're trying to get something out of the situation too. Because if that wasn't the case, then they wouldn't be mad if you didn't give them anything, right? So there you go. The reality of the situation is you got to be doing what's best for you. 
Otherwise, you'll never have options. If you're afraid to go out on a date with somebody, if you're afraid to hang out with somebody, if you think every time you talk to somebody, it's got to be some big relationship or you guys got to get married in two weeks or something like that, or you wasted their time, well, then you're not going to have options. And when you don't have options, you're going to have to accept whatever is in front of you at the time. It may not happen today. It may not happen tomorrow, but eventually it will happen. That's the key. You have to understand that you need to take what you want. It's about what you want. Nature's first law is self-preservation above all. You got to make sure that you're getting what you need out of a situation. And if you're not, then that's when you break out. Or that's when you downplay that situation and just take the little pieces that you do need from it and go move on to something else. If they're not willing to do that, if they're not willing to allow you to take the little pieces out of the situation, then you chuck them the deuces because you've got to make it about you. You've got to make it about the things that you need, the things that you want, and you can never feel guilty for that because that's what you're supposed to be doing, making you happy. The key to getting the guy you really want is options. We all understand that when you have options, now you can make demands. You can't tell your job to give you a raise if you can't get another job. They can give you whatever they want to because you have nowhere else to go. But when you have those things set up and you can go somewhere else, now you can make the decisions that you need to make to make your life better. You can tell people to give you whatever you want, and if they don't, you can chuck them the deuces and keep moving. But if you don't have those options, you end up finding yourself in the same cycle of just taking whatever is in front of you until you become super dissatisfied, and then you walk away with nothing. Now, if you have these options and you keep making these moves, you put yourself in a position where everyone's offering you the things that you want and you can choose whoever's the best out of them. You don't need to feel guilty about that because that's exactly what they would do to you.